Yeah. Thank you so much for caring, by the way, when I dropped my phone. Oh, I know. I was like, ah. Oh, no. That was hey. so sweet. You were just oh. <gasps> the gasp. <laughs> but the otter, bo- otter boxes are great, man. I, yeah. I love my otter box. All right. So are you ready That's, for the lightning round? I'm ready for the lightning round. Okay. So round. these are brand new questions sent okay. in by some of the listeners. They're oh, great. Gosh, I'm They're I'm really excited about them. Thank you, everyone, so much for the uh, wonderful questions. Um, all right. So if you could be any animal, what would it be and why? A horse. Why? Because I could run fast. Yeah. <laughs> you, you totally would be a great, like, cause you have that great mane of hair. So it's, that's perfect. Uh, what is your go-to? I'm going to say, and I, this is a double question. What is your go-to pre-show meal? Does it vary from theater to if you have a rock show? Mm, my go-to pre-show meal would be something with protein. Lots cool. of protein, like a, probably like a chicken wrap, something not too heavy, light. Yeah, like a wrap. Like, like a wrap. Like yeah. a, uh, and it, it, it doesn't really vary. It just, it, it, as long as I get some protein, a banana, always a banana. Yeah, you were, I'll get a natural energy boost. On the way over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm a big banana fan. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is a fun one. First lyrics that come to your head, one, two, three, go. Meet me down by the railway station. I've been waiting, and I'm through waiting for you. The train sings the same kind of blues. How dare you? That's awesome. What is that? <laughs> that's a song by Stevie Nicks called That's All Right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Uh, superpower, it would be to fly. <laughs> to fly. Yeah, fly is a good one. Fly. It's just the most. I know, yeah, this is sure. off the top of my head fast. Oh. Someone changed the game for me recently. They said, well, why wouldn't you just teleport? Because then if you wanted to fly, you could just teleport and Into teleport the sky. and teleport. Oh, and te- yeah. And you would go out and fall and, yeah. uh, and fall, but yeah. you'd still be fine. Falling with style <laughs> yeah. or whatever it is. But like someone ch- that changed. because like falling with style. But then oh I, like, I also like catch myself thinking about that on the subway and I'm like, focus mm-hmm. on your life, Tyler. Yeah. This isn't going to happen. Absolutely. Relax. Um, so... Movie you think you could come the closest to reciting every word? Oh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, favorite musical theater song some, sung by someone of the opposite gender? Um, the bus from Amarillo from the best little whorehouse in Texas. Very specific, but very cool. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, favorite childhood story or like nursery rhyme or any of that stuff? Um, ooh, uh, yeah, um, Little Red Riding Hood. Cool. Yeah. A classic. Yeah. Into the woods. All Into that good woods. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you could be a virtuoso, like a virtuoso performer on any instrument, what would it be and why? Um, piano. Yeah. I think so. I love the piano. I just, I've always been really loved it and wish I was better at it. (laughs) Yeah, it's a very, (laughs) I can fake my way a bit, but I, it's a very like neutral, it it feels to me the most like, it's obviously not a blank canvas, but the most like blank canvas Mm -hmm. that you can put. Whereas there's all the other instruments. I mean, I'm sure it has its own social things that come with it too, but I feel like it's the one that's like someone sits down and it's their thing coming through where a cello has a vibe in Mm -hmm. and of itself. That's just for a guitar. You know what I mean? Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can, someone plays a piano and you're like, that's them playing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, That's interesting. Uh, if you could have lunch with one person alive or dead, anyone who would it be and why? Catherine Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn, <laughs> nice. Just sitting, just having a smile. That's so funny. Talk about getting your diving in the water in the winter and I building your it. character. I don't know. That's so it funny. <laughs> uh, and if, okay, so if you could put on this is the last one. If you could put on any show anywhere in the world, you have the f- budgets yours. Mm-hmm. What would it be? Where would it be, and why? It would like a musical, like show. Yeah, yeah. it would put, be yeah. the the Rocky Horror Show. Cool. Well, I know it's kind of having a uh, revival right now. Yeah. I. Uh, I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but I don't think I've never seen a production of it that I've liked or I think Fair. got it right. I think the show has become very musical eyesed and very Broadway eyesed. And if you look at the original production in the movie, it's very gritty. It's very dark and it's so rock and roll. I it's see. such a rock and roll thing. And I feel like no one has been getting that. Well, it, do you mean as in, sorry, did you say like the movie or the, the movie or in it, because the original production was also made by the same people who made the movie. It has almost the original yes. okay, cast cool. and the director and the designers of the original show made the movie. Awesome. So it's very similar to that vibe. It was the same creative team and cast. Very and it cool. just, yeah, it's, I, I feel like there's, it's a horror show. People miss that horror element. Very interesting. It, it, it needs to be scary at totally. times. It really should be. And mm-hmm. I find it's become very safe. Well, I think it's just played to yeah. like, and I think it's something that um, anything that's gained a success mm-hmm. for a cult following exactly. type thing. The audience participation adds into it a lot. It almost becomes a bit of a carnival, which well, exa- you're going yeah. to see the, you're going to see someone perform totally. Rocky Horror, not, mm-hmm. not Rocky Horror. Yeah. And there, it was an there, experience. Because there, there is yeah. something, mm-hmm. it, it, it did exist before the movie. Yeah. It was a, ma- like I got, 
got made into a movie for a reason. The original play was a massive hit. And yeah. it, there's a lot going on there that I feel gets glossed over because it's just fun, crazy throwing toasts. And it's like, well, it's not it, yeah. if you want to really dig and make it work. You yeah, know? if you want to go yeah, for it. Yeah. yeah but cool. So, yeah, that's, that's very the interesting. One. Yeah. I love it. Do you have a specific place you'd want to put it on? Um, big tour anyway, yeah, like big tour everywhere. But anyway, Toronto. Let's say here. Let's do it in Toronto. Why Keep not? In Keep in Canada. Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. yeah. Well, yeah. James King, you've just completed the lightning round. Thank that you. was great. Thank you to anyone who's on there. I need to figure out a way to get it closer because it is. Oh. Um, but I'll figure that out for other okay. episodes. But this was great. So yeah. people will be able to tune into this for the next twenty four hours, and I'm gonna go turn off the.